peace so and love. The next game coming up uh, um, will be uh, quite interesting. We played against the Orcas. Me and my team, Swartov, played against the Orcas on Tuesday. Uh, a little uh, sparring uh, f uh, game, which was um, an experience. A really beautiful experience to watch on the Rocky Rugby. So, oh, here we go. Can we please have the picture? Yeah. <laughs> so, I, we need to ask about Ryusuk because I really have no idea. Oh, what happened to the... Ah, here camera. we go. So, the game started but was like uh, Firenze against uh, uh, Langen. It uh, stopped already again. Maybe some player uh, was not in contact with the wall. Uh, That's a very interesting are putting name. Back if any Finnish um, player is listening and then they like to come to us and let us know what that plot. See, what does it mean? I would like to. It's one, you know, one Let's of the guess. Other Let's guess what it no, means. No, 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 I'm not guessing anything. Urheilus, <laughs> <laughs> no. It's one of the oldest uh, I, I got lost in the, in the second okay. syllable. Okay, okay start okay, of the game, start. Orcas. Against and that, Finland. That's exactly what happened before with Germany. Yep. If, you have, if you do that, you need to decide which player is going to be behind you. Because so otherwise it's a Colombia is in blue and Finland in white. And uh, we have uh, the Orcas from Colombia in ball possession going in on the open side. And that's what they do a lot with the ball. They're just dancing with the ball, keeping it open and uh, playing very, very uh, oh, like style of uh, uh, dancing Colombia. around the ball. And uh, it's fascinating to see them play. So. A ver cómo vamos, chicos. Vamos a ver. No tengo idea. Este, este equipo de Finlandia es la primera vez que, que viene a la Champions Cup. O sea que no sé qué esperar. Eh, vamos a ver cómo se desarrolla el juego. Por ahora están jugando duro. Y bueno, a ver si los chicos ganan el partido. No es que yo tenga favoritismo por Colombia, pero <risa> después de tantos años. A ver, vamos a ver. Colombia recupera el balón y siguen pasando. O sea, tienen una movilidad eh, y una fluidez de mover la, el balón que es asombrosa. Lo juegan muy abierto. Eh, so, yeah, welcome uh, no Colombia and Finland no in, in uh, Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin. And uh, I think Orcas uh, from Colombia are now uh, a little bit of an uh, advantage and more ball possession. They go in and uh, they, they really want to, uh, want to open up a spot for them to, to score. But right now they don't find uh, uh, a piece where they can punch in the ball. And the Finnish do a quite a good job uh, keeping them at bay, even though they try swim a lot around uh, the basket. What we've seen uh, I mean, what with I'm the U21 to Colombia is, 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 is taking uh, uh, now it's that there was a hard uh, grip around uh, the throat. Even if, if we saw it, yeah. Normally, the I think it was the the, the player was Diego who was a uh, uh, holder on the throat. Free throw against Finland. Probably the I'm referee I'm saw it then. Surprised that the Orcas is taking a little bit long for them to die. Let's say there's one against two or three for too long. Normally they come, I mean they dive uh, a bit faster. Um, a ver, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Estamos atacando por el lado abierto y el jugador finlandés está tratando de recuperar el balón. Ya lo pasaron. Eh, lamentablemente yo veo exacto lo mismo que ustedes y no veo la el otro lado de la de la piscina. A ver, están tratando de entrar por la esquina cerrada, el defensa está tratando de cubrir, pero se están posicionando derecha e izquierda en el centro y están tratando de eh, confundir y de eh, marear a los defensores y a los porteros y de cansarlos. A ver, están, tra están tratando de llegar por arriba, pero mmm, lo que pasa es que los finlandeses son un poquito más corpulentos y entonces eh, eso cuesta, tienen más masa. So que muy bien los finlandeses están so I think it's more ball possession to the Colombians, uh, but the defense of the Finnish is very strong. Um, 
they keep them uh, physically yeah, they pack away. They too much around the neck. I mean, perhaps I've seen that a little yes, few times already. Yes, it's true, already. so many times. Now we have an attack from the they close side. They pack it down from above and then pass it to the bottom and then yeah, to keep yeah, rolling yeah. the ball to uh, create it's just some the, chaos. The only chance the Finnish have is tackling away uh, the Colombians. That is a penalty. Penalty, penalty okay. against Apparently Finland. Apparently the shoulder was uh, shoulder in the, in the basket. basket. So this is the first chance uh, of uh, uh, Colombia to score. Let's see. I look forward um, to who, this. Who do you say is going to, tr to try probably, to score? Uh, Samuel, uh, Samuel probably, himself. No? Yeah, that's Samuel. Samuel. He's quite a massive uh, player. We played him against yeah. him on uh, uh, Tuesday. He also has experience because he played for Molde for a few yeah. years. Yeah. So he knows the kind Very of Scandinavian way of playing. Very strong I think playing. one of the top players in the world. So penalty here in the third game of two Champions Cup 2016 in Berlin. Uh, Finland against Colombia. And penalty for uh, the Colombians, for the Orcas. Um, my guess is he would score. Normally the bet is always on the attacker. There is a timeout from Finland. Uh, that's typical to do, to uh, put the pressure out of the game, to give the goalie time to, to recover, recover yeah. and uh, to concentrate. Um, physical. It's, it's is super physical. The ball is not very ball. much in the open. We see a lot of body-to-body uh, uh, -body, uh, free throw against Colombia, probably holding without ball. This is exhausting for both this teams. It's very hard. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm really surprised in a, in a positive way from Finland because I didn't know what to expect, but they're yeah. really holding up very good. But I think the Colombians. We have uh, a con tenemos el contra con tres pudieron meter, pero la verdad es que los defensores, el portero, the side of the eh, basket, los on medios the wall, están ahí enseguida defienden, sacan el balón, lo han recuperado. They recover the ball, snatch the ball away, and now try to start a counter attack. But uh, are stopped in the middle at the surface by the uh, Colombians bueno, who recover the ball and start their count own counter attack y a ver si and go in no with a lot of speed but they're oh, stopped by three players si it looks y, physical, y they push the player balón. with the ball away, two players it looks okay. like it's hurting what they do. I'm, I'm really impressed by the play of Pero the Finnish, um, para like we already I said, we don't know the team. They are a bit surprised, Orcas, uh, for the resistance they're getting yeah. From, yeah. from Finland. And now they have yeah. to defend with everything they have. Ahora tienen que defender now y the Orcas con el are getting in again. They come cero, from uh, above este the juego basket, no are tackled definido. away, and uh, with ball on the surface, right over the um, basket of the Finnish players. If anyone and here knows we go, something uh, uh, very about this fast Finnish team and want to share with from, us uh, on uh, from the, the close chat. side, and the Orcas have now the ball on the surface, on the in the corner, and try to build their attack pattern um, from this side. And here we go. Now they go in, but already they are under pressure from uh, the Finnish uh, forechecking, and it's a very good job the forechecking is doing. And now we're on the close side of the basket. Again. And this is the end of the first half uh, of this uh, third game here in Champions Cup 2016. My name is Wolf, with me is Lorena, and we do the comments for you here from Berlin uh, at the 28th Champions Cup, the biggest event in underwater rugby worldwide. We have uh, 14 nations, 25 teams and uh, 14 men and 10 women teams from three continents. There is no other tournament in the whole world and on the water rugby that can compete with this event you're watching right now. And uh, you should enjoy every second like we do because it's uh, to, to feel the, 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 the spirit of on the water rugby is really happening here. And like uh, Carlos, the coach of uh, Australia told me, he was so overwhelmed when he was uh, standing next to the pool and he told me, uh, listen, Wolf, uh, I only saw this in the live stream until now, and now I see it in real, it's and so I'm, great I'm so excited. Yeah. And he was like, standing there, was like, breathing in and just enjoying uh,
team here. It's so nice to see that you know rugby is developing all along the globe, and the new nations are coming, and they want to come here and participate and get some input and learn. They know that maybe they're not going to do the first places, but they're here for, for just for the experience to learn and to get to know other players from all around the world, top players, learn something, bring it back to their home countries and try to help to develop the sport more. I mean, it's nice to see that kind of participation of, of younger players in Europe. Uh, for us, it's, there's not such a grow like they're having in Colombia right now. Okay, that's a the strong attack, the ball went around, the Colombians didn't see it, now it's coming up from the open side and is fighting very hard with the goalkeeper that recovered the ball and now is swimming away on a counter-attack. The Finnish players are coming a little bit behind, it's one-on-one -on -one and that was, that's a little bit too low. You need to put the knee on the bottom and just push yourself up. That should have been a goal from the Colombian side. And you see the, the breaking in, in the Finnish defense. They, they really have to fight now well, one a, on one. That was a very fast counter yeah, attack. Yeah. Now they're uh, swimming back towards the Colombia goal. As, uh, now we can see enough. Attacking. Um, it's a little bit of a cluster of people there. Three Colombians, two Finnish. And they cover the ball, try to swim away. It's cold by two Finnish players they're trying to free that ball so they can swim around and that's the end of the second time and the end of the game and it's actually 3-0 for Colombia also the uh, score on the screen is wrong it's not 2-0 it's 3-0 3-0 for, for Colombia, Colombia. Uh, well earned but I have to admit I'm uh, surprised by the uh, game of the Finnish I never seen them so I couldn't uh, tell Ooh, anything yeah. up front but uh, very well done. They did a good job to keeping the uh, Colombians away. Gana 3 a 0 contra el equipo finlandés. Eh, empezó duro, luego se fue desarrollando el juego y lo fueron dominando más y más y al final ya lo tenían completamente dominado, pudieron hacer su juego. Pero la gente de Finlandia realmente eh, pudo aguantar y perjudicó bastante algunos de los ataques. Pero bueno, con la fluidez de movimiento que tiene el que tienen, eh, han podido utilizar un par de faltas del equipo finlandés que no se han eh, 